evening and you're welcome to the sports segment here on News 360. My name is Thierry Vignan and we start off with the MTN FA Cup. Now in the MTN FA Cup quarterfinal games that were played earlier today, Ghana Premier League side Wafa were beating by Okowu United 1-0 while Kotoko's game against Bichem United ended after a penalty shootout. Now Kotoko were beating 3-2 after the shootout. This means the semi-finals will have two Ghana Premier League sides and two Division 1 league sides after Liberty Professionals won their game by three goals to zero yesterday and while Rockets also beating Wild All Stars um, by a goal to nil yesterday in the quarterfinals of the competition. Amazing edition of the Air Corps Best Fighter Kickboxing Championship slated from 24 June to 25 June 2016 at the Lizzie Sports Complex in Accra. Five African nations, Ghana, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, Cameroon and Togo, kickboxing athletes will come and battle it out for the ultimate prize. Now the president of the West African Kickboxing Federation Zone 2, Pafe Dukru, and the president of the Ghana Kickboxing Federation, Ni Adotejata, assured readiness for the upcoming event. The best sport. We use karate, martial art, like uh, leg. So kickboxing is punch and leg. We organized the first event of uh, ECOWAS in uh, Ghana. This is sport exactly. We use Ghana because we want to show people that Ghana is one of the peaceful country in West Africa. Okay? Well, to show, to encourage Ghana people that Keeping the peace is good. This is why we are coming, because it's, there's peace here. So we bring all the fighters in Ghana to say this is the country which is where we can get peace. This is to encourage the heartlet, because when you practice a sport and uh, there is no, uh, no, no support, it's difficult. So it's the way to bring all the fighters to get the best and to see how we can promote them. This very event is very important to me because since I take over as the president of the Ghana Kickboxing Association, I'm not be able to organize fights and tournaments due to fans. You understand? And I've, I've cried, I've cried to the ministry, and I've cried and I've cried. Nobody is listening to us. So I think this event is very important to me because if it comes on, then we are moving forward. I know my, my boys are ready to face anybody who will come from anywhere. Now Isaac the Royal Storm Dogbe retains his WBO Africa featherweight title, stopping Ugandan Edward Kakembo at the Accra Sports Stadium. Now former Ghana president John Jerry Jerry John Rawlings has tipped WBO Africa featherweight champion Isaac the Royal Storm Dogbe to step in the shoes of Azuma Nelson. Sports Minister Neil Ante Van der Poy shares in the vision but cautions the boxer against Antex in the ring if he is to achieve that feat. Isaac the Royal Storm Dogbe stopped his outspoken Ugandan challenger Edward Duade Kakembo in round six of their continental WBO featherweight championship. Former President Rawlings, who was at the ringside along with his wife Nanakune Dwajiman Rawlings, was delighted over the efforts of Isaac Dobe. I have always known that the featherweight division belongs to Ghana. Dobe now has the responsibility to carry on from where Azuma left off to make sure that he captures the world featherweight champion. Youth and Sports Minister Nee Lante Van der Poy has reservations about the boxer's conduct in the ring. I think Isaac Dogbe is a future champion. Maybe what he needs to do is to be a bit more serious than what I've seen him today. I think um, boxing is a very serious game and you know, when you get an opportunity like this, you just finish it early and let's go because one punch could make a difference. So I, I think he's a good boxer. He has he has prospects and we will support him. Uh, I've known him since his days in amateur. I know I'm not surprised with the support he's had. He would definitely go places. Both enthusiasts called for support for the boxer in order to get him the height. So that's all for sports with me, Thierry Nyan here. But remember, for more sports news, you can tune in and stay tuned to TV3 